What's up guys, it's Davis Archery. I'm super excited about this unboxing. Right here I have the Mantis XA. I'm super excited to unbox it and see how myself and you can improve your archery. Okay, so this is what you'll get directly from Mantis. So basically what you wanna do is slide out the top part that just seals it in here. Have a nice little Mantis box with the Mantis logo on it. Slide this straight off. Then we will get a little card that has questions, suggestions, or if you need help, there's their telephone number, their website, and also their email address. Then we get into the actual Mantis itself in this little case right here. So we'll open this up. At the top right here, we have the adapter where you put it on your bow a charging cable, we have a, another rail, a, we have a sticker, and then the Mantis itself. So I wanna start off by saying thank you to Mantis for sending this over and letting me test it out. I like to say my first impression is we have some super nice packaging along with this carry case that keeps it the Mantis safe while you travel or if you just put it inside your bow case, it keeps it protected. Obviously, it is going to be very strong and very tough, but at the same time, there's a lot of technology that is very sensitive inside of this little sensor that you put on your bow. So basically, what I wanna do first is open up this package right here so that I can put this on my bow. Inside this little package right here, we have the instructions from Mantis. We have a cleansing wipe. We have a microfiber cloth, a Phillips head screw, and the Picatinny rail itself. So basically with the Mantis, you have to mount the Picatinny rail to a flat surface on your bow. Well, I'm gonna do this a little different. Right here I have a extra tight light adapter that I'm going to mount this Picatinny rail to so I can just slide it on and off of my sight. So first what I'm gonna do is take this microfiber cloth that was included. I'm gonna wipe off the surface of the tight light. So next I'm gonna open up this alcohol pad just to remove any kind of dust or anything that might be on my tight light. So once I've done this, I'm just gonna let it air dry for just a second. Now I'm gonna remove the tape from the Picatinny rail. And then I'm gonna place this in the center of my tight light. Now I'm gonna hold pressure for 20 seconds to ensure the tape sticks to the surface. Even though I'm doing this on the tight light, this still applies to anywhere on your bow. Now that I have put the Picatinny rail on the tight light, now I can take my Mantis. I'm gonna need to pull this little lever that's at the top. It releases the bottom, so now I can slide this right on. So I'm gonna take the mount, slide it in face forward towards the mount, and then it's gonna lock into place like this. Now I'm ready to put this on my sight and actually apply it to my shooting. So basically what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the Mantis, then I'm gonna slide it on right behind my other light. And then just like every time with my tight light, I'm gonna take it and screw it into my sight bar. To get started with the Mantis, first in the App Store you need to look up Mantis X archery this is free to download in the app store and the google play store so right now i'm going to download that on my ipad you can also do this on your phone first off setting up the mantis in the app so i went to the app mantis relies on bluetooth so your device will ask you if it is okay to use bluetooth so i'm going to press okay 
Then we see a Welcome to Mantis screen. And press OK. OK again. Now we're going to press Connect. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to want to turn on the Mantis. You'll know that it's turned on when the green light pops up. So basically what it's doing now is it is explaining what the different colors mean when you test out your Mantis and you shoot and you train and you improve your shooting skills through Mantis because you can make itty bitty changes that you can ultimately see exactly how they affect you. At the bottom of the screen you will see the type of bow and if you are left and right handed. So for me I'm going to have to change both of these so I'm just going to click change it to compound and then left handed and then I'm going to press start. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this mantis and I'm going to put it on my bow and then I'm going to take a few shots with it. All right guys, so now that I shot, I can analyze my shot through the app itself. It also gives you a stability score in the top right hand corner, which mine was 96.4%. So I still have a little bit that I can get uh, better. So basically what I can do is move weights around and experiment with my setup to get that stability score higher. So basically when I want to see my shot, I can press this little play button down here. This goes through my whole entire shot process until I release the arrow and then even shows the release after the fact. So I will definitely be testing this out in the next couple of weeks. I want to give you guys a really in-depth review on my training and how this has helped me. So hopefully I will be back in one to two weeks testing this product out and we'll see how it goes. What's up guys? So I spent about two weeks with this Mantis archery tracking system and I can definitely say it is worth your money. During my time with the Mantis archery mount, I found three key highlights through my time testing this out. Number one, the live coaching tracking feature. This allows you to give your phone or device to a coach to review while you're taking your shots to maybe make little tweaks and changes. Number two, the ability to save your Mantis Archery session after you have completed it. Mantis Archery gives you the ability to save your practice session to later go back and review on your shots. Number three, the stability score. After you have completed a shot, it will give you a stability score in the top right hand corner from a range from 0 to 100, 100 being the most stable. This is very key in determining how stable your shot was, if a little tweak and change helped your shot become more stable, or if it even made it a little bit worse. This is key in discovering the good and bad changes that you might make to your setup. Big thanks to Mantis Archery for sending this mount over. I will definitely be using this in the future. Hope you really enjoyed this video. Remember, like, comment, subscribe, and press that notification bell down below. And always check out www.davisarchery.com. We'll see you in the next one.